All right, y'all. So it's New Year's Eve. It's like six o'clock, honey. We got like a four. We got six more hours to the new year. Duh. Six and six, 12 midnight. Sorry, I've had a long day. As you can see, I'm working, honey. I'm in my office. You know, doing what I do best, getting this money, and I'm about to go ahead and clock out because I'm about to get ready for the new year. I'm not bringing the new year working. I only have a few orders left I have to do. I have one, two, eight, nine. I have nine left to do, and I had 27. I'm about to go ahead and get me some water, take my dogs outside because it finally stopped raining. It's been raining all day, literally. I'll insert a clip of what Dallas looks like right now. take them out so they can get that shit out their system they've been holding it all day it's been super cold and raining and then i'm gonna go ahead and jet to um i'm gonna go to walmart because i want to dye my hair black real quick i'm going to i already went shopping and stuff have new clothes and stuff i'm gonna go grab me a bottle of champagne i would love to um kiss somebody when the ball drops even though this year is just you know not that kind of a year it's like not exciting like it was last year and stuff <laughs> All right, y'all, so I just finished getting dressed. I didn't really do too much. I just got on me my cute little baby girl sweatshirt with some cute little, I like these. They're like super high-waisted jeans. I can wear a cute little top with them. I'm wearing these and I'm just gonna throw on probably my black shoes with these. And I'm gonna stuff a joint real quick though. Let me stuff this. I only got four things that I need to do. And I'm already almost finished fulfilling my orders. With my seatbelt on. I know I need to get a phone stand ASAP. I'm gonna get that for the new year. They always break. So I just be like, man, I don't even really be driving and vlogging like that. So I'll just like wait till I'm not driving to vlog. But I know y'all like car vlogs and stuff. So yeah, I'm about to light this and head to Walmart and hurry up and come back and get dressed. Hey, cheers, y'all. Happy New Year. Let me get me some more, actually. <laughs> we almost empty. All right, so let me talk to y'all about my New Year's resolutions. I'm not like a whole New Year, New Me type of girl. It's, you know, the same me, but I do have different goals, different standards, and I, I know more of what I want out of life. I have seven things that I'm going to be focusing on for 2021. Of course, my YouTube channel, my coaching, my books, my music, my Punani box, my lip, my lip care line, which is Sugar Baby Kisses, my wigs, yeah, and my wigs. Seven things. Of course, the average millionaire has 67 ways of income. I did used to, you know, have 11 things and a lot of different things going on. But of course, I had to, of course, cut it down because I started realizing all the things that I was doing weren't necessarily making me money. Well, as much money as I was hoping. So now I am focusing on the businesses that make me the most money. And those seven make me the most money and the most interact, you know, the most engagements and things of that nature. My $40,000 sugar daddy just called me. I don't even have time to really talk right now. I'm on my way out. I hurried up and got dressed. Like what? Honey? Don't play with me. I'm gonna go get this money, y'all. I don't know if my camera's blurry, is it? No, not really. Call me, he wants me to come over and have fun with him for New Year's. So I'm gonna go. Peace. Ah! Hey, y'all. So I'm checking in with you. I am headed right now to go get me something to eat. And of course, you know, the new year star. I brought in the new year, um, like, 
with with a bang you feel me like already kicked off the year right of course y'all know my sugar daddy called me over i'm not really gonna go too into detail what with what happened because you know i'm always blessed so it's really nothing to talk about yeah so bills paid honey money lots of money in my bank account i'm about to do a restock for punani box i'm sold out right now well i'm headed to go oh wait let me let them go because they got the big jeep i don't even know where i'm going to get some food i think i'm gonna go ahead and hit just like chick-fil-a real quick oh it's sunday never mind i want to go somewhere i could drive through i'm just gonna do brahms i haven't had brahms in a while i don't even really like brahms like that if i don't like it why am i gonna eat it Okay, so I'm just gonna do what a burger because I just want a burger real quick. Actually, I'm gonna go to yeah. Let's just do what a burger because I want to shake as well. Part of the New Year's gray. So now, basically, what I'm doing is I'm getting on my best shit, honey. You know, working out, getting my body. My body looks amazing right now. Skin popping, hair popping. You know, I just dyed my hair black last night. I re it was like a dark brown so you could tell the difference between dark brown and black so you could definitely tell the difference in my hair and um yeah i'm gonna go get my nails done tomorrow so yeah we're gonna stay tuned for that but i'm also um putting forth let me put my seatbelt on honey hold on seatbelt on yeah so basically i'm putting forth all the effort that i you know can right now towards um executing my opening up my sugar baby spa that's my biggest goal for the month of January is to get my sugar baby spa up and running and active. And of course, the guy I told y'all about, we made up. Um, I decided to go ahead and forgive him mainly because he has done a lot for me and I completely understand where he's coming from as far as he was an old sugar daddy of mine. You know, a lot of sugar babies ask me all the time, should they let their sugar daddy know about their kids? It's the same scenario. Let's not flip the script, you feel me? Whenever I started to think about it and talk to myself about it, I was like, I don't really have a reason to be mad at him. Like it's the same scenario with sugar babies letting sugar daddies know about their kids it's just he was a sugar daddy and he didn't let me know and we also didn't know that we were going to start liking each other the way that we do we're super into each other right now and um he's also going to invest in my sugar baby spa with me which is really dope so me and him are going to go tomorrow or later on this week go look for the spot where we're going to have our spa at and then after we look for the spa, of course, going to start investing in the equipment, getting all the equipment and stuff like that. But yeah, honey, it's going to be super dope, super lit, I'm super excited. I'm going to go ahead and get me something to eat and I'm going to check in with y'all later. Can I get some spicy ketchup, please? You put one in here? Yeah. Can I get another one? Thank you. Throw my trash away. Bend it. Okay. Don't play with me. Honey tea. I'm actually about to just pull right here and eat though, because I'm starving. Got the hand sanitizer. Alright, let's eat. So y'all. I'm having surgery on my finger this month. I smashed my finger in the door and it completely like, my finger almost came off. I have some long nails on. It happened about four years ago. And just recently it started to grow funny. 
like about this past year was growing funny I just kind of like left it alone didn't really worry about it too much but of course you know that I'm getting my life together instead of getting a BBL and stuff I decided to get my finger fixed <laughs> but priorities first So I have to go to a dermatologist to get my cuticle fix. This tastes so good. But you know I'm from Texas, girl. I gotta eat. Got yeah. a number two with no onions, no tomatoes, mayonnaise only for the sauce with cheese. I absolutely love mayonnaise on my hamburger. I used to like mustard but I guess because I had it so long now I like mayonnaise and I only like ketchup on my french fries I don't like ketchup on my burger oh fuck <laughs> hmm. I do that again All right, y'all, so I just got to the crib. It's, of course, Sunday, and I have webinars on Sundays, 7 p.m. Central. So I'm about to get ready for this webinar. I'm getting pregame soiree, you know, I got the wine. I like to drink wine before my webinars, mainly because it makes me more open, I'm more fun, and it's I'm more easily to explain myself rather than when I'm not like, when I don't have a sip of wine, I'm more a little uptight or whatever. So, Chardonnay is my favorite wine. Trust me, I know some bitches are gonna be like, you're holding the wine glass wrong. I know I'm supposed to hold it like this. I only hold it like this in public, like when I'm on a date, so I can look fancy or whatever. <laughs> but normally, man, I don't care. Like it's a cup, like pinky up. Drink, drink it and get lit. I'm gonna go ahead and get this webinar going. Don't forget if you need a sugar baby coaching, if you need websites, scripts, advice, anything, hit me up. I offer Sugar Baby Coaching classes for $50. I also have two ebooks out, 10 Steps to Becoming a Successful Sugar Baby and my Sugar Baby Guide. Both of them contain different content. And I also have a Sugar Baby group chat that has 252 members to it right now. It's just a community of sugar babies that help each other out, communicate, stay in contact, things like that. <laughs> I'm gonna check in with y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, so I'm in my office right now and I'm going to show y'all the process, my processing to a fulfilling orders. Now, of course, y'all know I have a boutique, melijasboutique.com, where I sell my Punani box, which is my skincare slash feminine care line. I have, well, not I'm sold out of wigs right now, but I sell a whole bunch of Sugar Baby merch as far as Sugar Baby dolls, purses, clothes and um, my Sugar Baby Kisses line. I have a lot of different things on my website that I sell. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all basically the process that I go through in order to, well, the sequence that I go through in order to fulfill my orders in a organized manner. That way I do not mess up anything, forget anything, mess up anybody's orders, you know, just anything of that. Just make any mistakes period so right now I'm at my desk i'm gonna go ahead and plug everything in me personally i like to save money and i like to save, save electricity if i'm not using something i turn it off so all of my stuff right now is i don't know if you can see but everything is unplugged right now i have everything hooked up to this one extension cord so when i'm done with it i turn everything off and unplug it of course those 
my um, printer, my Cricut machine, all that stuff is also hooked up to one extension cord. And when I'm done, I unplug it. So I'm gonna plug this in first. <clears throat> And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on all my stuff. Ooh. I'm gonna turn my label maker on, my Mac Mini, and then my screen. Oh, my neck has been hurting. And these here are my laminators. I use them like honestly for a lot of different things. I laminated, my, I use these for my books. I um, use them for my social security cards, laminated, my birth certificate, all types of stuff. Anything I need laminated, I use this. I'm coming out with a new book too, 21 Steps to Establishing a Successful Business. So definitely look out for that. And you know, y'all, that I am a pothead. <laughs> I love to smoke me some marijuana. I'm going to go ahead and stuff me a cone real quick while I wait for this to turn on. My dude, you know he keeps me, keeps me laced up with some good weed. And I should have took y'all with me earlier. Like, um, I'm gonna start vlogging with my guy, I guess, since that's my main squeeze right now. But I had took my car up to his car a lot earlier. They detailed my car for me, which is really nice. My baby looks so good right now. Very nice and shiny. Um, plates also came in for my Ben's truck. I got the plates on there. My registration sticker and everything came in, so that was really cool. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm legit, you know, I'm official on the road. First, I'm going to get on my Shopify account. I have Shopify. I used to have GoDaddy, but I like Shopify way better. It's way more helpful. It's it's way more helpful and it's more simple. GoDaddy is cool, but I've always I just I just like Shopify ever since I got with them. And Shopify cuts me my check. Like I'm not sitting there having to wait to get my money. I don't use PayPal. I hate PayPal. There's always an issue with PayPal when it comes to getting your money. <clears throat> I have 26 orders left to fulfill. How many here? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I have 11 here and 26 more to fulfill. So I'm gonna go ahead and start printing out my labels. Right now, I'm going to choose the shipping box for my product. Select the option that I want to ship it with. And I'm gonna go ahead and print out my label. And it's very easy. I love my label printer. I have a Rolo label printer. They're, they go for about like $300 or so. And it's, um, it's a thermal printer, so I don't need, I don't need any ink for this. It does it all itself, as you can see. So now what I'm gonna do is write on the back of my label, the abbreviations for what she ordered. She ordered the end piece and then she, to a Punani machine, and then she ordered a Punani box sample. And double check it, I got that right. And so then I'm gonna move on to the next order and do the same thing 26, well, 25 more times now. And right now, Punani box, is sold out but i will be restocking punani box very very soon i'm just right now trying to get rid of some of the items that i have in my boutique that have been sitting for a while before i restock that way i'm not just continuously spending money on things without having got the money back that i've already invested in my business so um yeah i'm just waiting to restock the box for um maybe like a couple more weeks and then punani box will be restocked of course i restock punani box on a regular basis maybe because you cannot 
tell somebody, hey, my skincare is the bomb. Come use my skincare line. It's going to change your whole life. And But they can't even get a hold of the product because it's always sold out and you never restock like within within time to have a consistent skincare routine so one thing about punani box is i am very consistent yes i do sell out but i do restock very soon and then i do have a lot available i don't just you know sell out within the first day like some people do or the next day and of course it takes me a while to restock because i have to get the product ready here is some advice for those who have their own businesses and print out their own labels and ship their own products definitely get you a home base usps or ups or fedex or wherever you go to get you a home base location that way you establish a relationship with the people that you drop your orders off with mainly because if the lines are long just you know with weight and you know fragile stickers and priority first you know um, class and just all type of um, things that come into shipping your items you want to trust the people that are your carriers you'd want to trust your carriers so definitely build a relationship with your carriers that way when you drop your orders off you trust them like you know this is my home base i come here all the time you know, don't try to, don't be going everywhere to drop your orders off. Stick to one spot. It's made it a lot easier for me as well, having a home base. All right, y'all, but I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and turn on some music and vibe out and finish doing this. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> check in with y'all here in a second when I'm done. But of course, I'm going to let y'all watch me vibe out. I just finished printing out my labels for this week. As you can see, honey, we are stacked up again with orders. Ooh, and they just fell out of place. Hold on, let me make sure that I put them back in there right. Okay, I did. In order to stay organized, I like to write down all the orders that I'm working on for the week. I have some in the past had orders missing so now i have i have come up with a sequence that way everything goes smoothly i'm gonna go ahead and document every single order that i'm working on this week on my notepad that way while i am fulfilling them i can check them off of my list and i know that every single one of them is gone and then also during the week if somebody has a problem with their order if i have messed up on something if i need to resend something i also note note it down on this page here okay so basically what i'm going to do now is start getting these orders ready i'm going to divide these in increments of 10 that way i can you know break it down easy break it down and make it more easy for myself but before i do that i'm going to go ahead and update my customers and let them know that i'm working on their orders these are all the orders that i am working on this week now i'm going to go ahead and show y'all what i did what i wrote down so right here on my notepad i have all the orders that i'm working on for the week I have 36 and I'm going to go ahead and write down that I have 36 orders to complete this week and it is January 3rd. Here's my finished list. As you can see, I've highlighted all of the marks that I've made and um, all of the notes that I made that don't need to be changed. So I have 36 orders, but I only need to work on 30 of them. Then you know I've already have the date and the orders I'm working on. And then here I have the ones that are books and my coaching classes. So these orders here I 
now know that I don't have to worry about fulfilling them. When I go out this week to ship my orders, I know that I do not have to worry about those orders there. I don't have to worry about them being in my pile. So I have a book, a book, a book here, another book, a book, and a coaching class. So I, all I have to do is worry about these numbers here, getting them out. So let's go ahead and get to work, honey. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.